but there are still open issues and uh, we need to make sure that these different processes uh, are brought together in the coming two weeks because we need to take further steps both in the program prior actions uh, as well as on the banks time is limited uh, we need to complete that first set of milestones it needs to be done very quickly and also some of the uh, prior actions regarding for example the governance of the banks the future governance of the banks needs to be sorted out quite quickly so it doesn't jeopardize the process of recapitalization because that's that's our key, key priority authorities are clearly committed to uh, work towards successful completion of milestones and towards the first program review. Uh, having said that, uh, that, there are still several issues uh, outstanding, but we hope to be able to sort them within the next days. Working uh, on the first set of milestones, uh, which is a precondition in order to, to decide uh, for a disbursement of 2 billion euros that we want uh, really to, to happen. There is still a way uh, to uh, go. Uh, we are not yet completely there, but I'm hopeful and confident that uh, with the spirit of compromise that we have uh, with the uh, good cooperation with the authorities, we can make it, if not today, in the days to come. Yes, hopefully this week. Von den Punkten, die Griechenland sich verpflichtet hat, im Zuge der ersten Auszahlung der ersten Tranche zu erfüllen, eben noch ein, ein Großteil noch nicht erfüllt gewesen. Und das nach dem Urteil der Troika, und das muss eben erfüllt werden. Und die Non-Performing Loans sind ja eines der Hauptprobleme der, oder eine der Hauptursachen der griechischen Bankschwierigkeiten. Das muss also Griechenland. Leisten. Das ist eine Frage der nationalen Gesetzgebung. Ich kann confirm, dass es was a phone call gestern afternoon between President Juncker and Prime Minister Tsipras to discuss the preparation of the Eurogroup and also the management of the refugee crisis. I can also confirm, well, it's not a confirmation because we announced it already on Friday that the President uh, will have a working lunch with uh, Eurogroup President uh, Jeroen Dijsselbloem today at, at half past 12. What I could say ahead of the of the Eurogroup is that the work uh, continued on political and technical level over the weekend to deliver on all aspects of the program and progress has been made. Today's Eurogroup will provide a timely opportunity to take stock of progress.